Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. Well, that woman reached out to KPRC2 after seeing our story on the arrest of these two people. Investigators say the two lied about being licensed funeral directors. KPRC News Real One Belogan live in Northeast Houston, where the daughter missed her dad's first service. Real One. Now, Daniela Keith, good evening. There were two services for the father you're about to meet and his daughter there. The first service was right here in Easton, here at the Impact Ministries. The daughter you're about to meet tells me she had no idea this was going on until she was notified by someone on social media. So she went to the second service in Louisiana the following day. That day when she went there, she said she was in shock to find the condition her father was in. I don't know who that was in that casket, sir. He looked nothing like my father. LaShawn Carter's story echoes similar ones we heard last week after the arrest of Javon Major and Sandy Broussard. Families claim Major posed as a licensed funeral director and mortician. Investigators say the pair forged signatures of beneficiaries and got life insurance. He claimed that he was trying to help us out because he basically was saying, like, my father was a friend of the family. My father never knew this guy. Carter's dad, Dwayne Michael Sumner, died of a heart attack at 55. She says shortly after his death, Major called her, telling her he had her dad's body and was going to do the service for $31,000. Once you got the invoice for $31,000, you told him, no, thank you. We are going to go with somewhere else. And at that point, he said, no, you have to do it with me. Yes, and he called and uh, told me that he's embalming my father's body and that I need to send him the fee for that. And um, he kept on pressing me about sending him a policy. The policy, his insurance. Major charged with forgery appeared in front of a judge. God is in control. His attorney didn't address the allegations against him, but said the judge issued a $10,000 bond. As for Carter, she believes she and those who have come forward aren't alone. I feel horrible. Like, that's... You know, that's not a way I wanted to see my father. Now, Carter tells me she filed a complaint with the Texas Funeral Service Commission, the director of the Funeral Service Commission, telling me that the two involved in this case are not licensed in the state of Texas as funeral directors or morticians, and adding that today they've received additional complaints of the two involved. You can see our full interview with the executive director on our website, clicktohouston.com. Live in Northeast Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News. Well, unimaginable what those families have had to go through, Roman. Thank you.